Hi, I'm Koshal Patel bringing you this week's real estate headlines. Did you know that in January, across the nation, around 32% of home buyers pay cash, making it the highest rate since 2014? Now, according to the National Association of Realtors, as a result of limited inventory and demand to buy homes, home prices are expected to increase throughout the year. Something to think about if you're about to sell your home in San Diego. Some really exciting news if you're living downtown. It's gonna be a while, but we could be getting a Whole Foods. Whole Foods has announced that they are leasing a 50,000 square foot ground floor space at Front and A at the base of a new high rise. You will have to wait a while since it's expected to be completed in the middle of 2026. Fingers crossed. Some affordable housing is in the works in San Diego. A housing project that's been on and off for 12 years in Otay Mesa is back on again and expected to break ground in September. The candlelight project with 450 townhomes about a mile from the US-Mexico border will be opening late next year. The developer of Cornerstone Community says early cost estimates put the townhomes in the mid half million to low $600,000 range. If you're a landlord in America's finest city, there are a couple of new laws going in effect soon. The Homelessness Prevention Act, which goes into effect in a few weeks on April 1st, will cap rent hikes at 10% in California, and it prevents landlords from evicting tenants without a legal cause. And then there's another law, the new Residential Security Deposit Law, which goes into effect on July 1st. It limits the amount landlords can charge for security deposits. Now, the two bills were signed by the governor last year, and while they do provide the protections and legal benefits for tenants, the potential financial exposure for landlords, of course, is elevated. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested in buying or selling your piece of paradise in San Diego, let's start the conversation.